Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another screencast by Mr. Stano, your earth science teacher. And today we're going to talk a little bit about jet streams as we get into more severe weather. Jet streams we've, you may have heard of uh, in the news before, especially when meteorologists speak about jet streams and plane travels and plane flight across the United States. But what exactly is a jet stream? What we can see from this diagram here that a jet stream is this wind that kind of navigates the globe very similar to the line like a line of latitude except that this has a tendency to bend northwards or southwards but anyway they go around the globe in the same way occasionally you'll hear especially here in the northeast where we are that the jet stream is dipping particularly south or it might be going up uh, more northward in some areas so there is some flexibility to it and it does bend, but it runs from west to east across the United States for us. Here we can see a mid-latitude. Remember, we're mid-latitude. We're about 45 degrees north, give or take a little bit. And you can see here, here's our jet stream coming down, dipping southward, and then this crazy jump northward, and then it dips south again. But that is our jet stream. Here's a formation of a jet stream. Notice that it is the boundary between two air masses, our big cold air mass right here and our warm air mass right there. So jet streams are nothing more than these high altitude, fast moving winds that go from west to east across the United States um, with the help of Earth's rotation. Like I said, we can see that they're the boundary. The jet stream is going to be the boundary between air masses right here. So how the jet stream moves also governs how these air masses will come into and out of an area. Jet streams have a lot to do with our flight flights across the United States from west to east or east to west. Associated with those flights are, is also going to be turbulence that we're going to see coming up. Turbulence is caused due to the unheating, unequal heating of Earth's atmosphere. So you can see here that we have heating of the atmosphere and it creates this turbulent air. You would expect there to be more turbulent air as the day goes on. So in the morning it should be relatively calm as the sun comes out and that energy gets transferred to the ground into the air. We're going to see more turbulent conditions with finally towards the nighttime things calming down again as that sun that energy is radiated back out into space. But this turbulence as this plane flies over is going to cause the flame to move up and down. The more severe the turbulence or unequal heating, the worse it's going to get. So at night, we see very calm conditions. This plane will fly straight across. There's no real heating of the atmosphere and mostly cooling, radiating the energy out into space. But after sunrise, all of a sudden, after sunrise and as the day goes way later on into the day, we're going to see these turbulent conditions getting created and then back at night it's going to calm down again now this is um this does change from area to area generally that's what we see though sometimes it can be worse sometimes it can be better okay uh the next screencast we're going to move on to thunderstorms and i hope you're looking forward to it take care